Hi, here I'm Fuji here. In this video, I want to talk about Kendo terminology. Now, most important words in Kendo, okay, there are two important words. One is onegai shimasu, and the other one is arigatou gozaimashita. Okay, onegai shimasu means please train with me in Kendo or in martial arts world. And so, for example, if you meet someone for the first time and you greet each other, and then at the end, that means uh, please kind of please take care of me or please have a great relationship from now on. All right. But in this situation at the dojo, please train with me. Okay. And arigatou gozaimashita. Okay. Thank you very much. Now, uh, arigatou, probably you know arigatou is that that's thanks. And gozaimashita is thank you very much, so much politer. Okay, and that is a past tense. So arigatou gozaimashita is something you are saying, you are thankful to something happened. So you trained, your partner trained with you, so you are showing your uh, appreciation. You're telling him thank you very much for having trained with me. All right, so arigatou gozaimashita, okay? And arigatou gozaimasu is uh, present tense, okay? The difference is present tense and past tense, and then when you use it, we can use kind of any situation, both, it's sometimes interchangeable, all right? But I don't want to talk about it because it's a Kindle uh, term. So arigatou gozaimashita is what you say. In Kindle, okay? So one, onegai shimasu. Okay? Onegai shimasu. And, arigatou gozaimashita. Okay? Arigatou gozaimashita. Alright? So remember that. Now, we count. Ichi ni san shi, right? One, two, three, four. In Japanese, so, I'm gonna, say, I'm gonna uh, teach you how to count in Japanese. Ich. Okay? Ich. Ni, san, shi. Okay, some people say yon, but when you count like this, usually we say shi, but yon is not wrong. Ich, ni, san, yon. Okay, or ich, ni, san, shi. Go, lok, shich, hach, shichi, or nana. Seven, for seven. Nana or shich. Usually we say shichi when we count like this, but shichi and ichi one, shichi and ichi sound similar. So uh, in that case we use nana because it's obvious. But when you count like this, we go ichi ni san shi go lok shich hach is eight, q nine ju, right? Ju. Okay, so ich ni san, ich ni, right? Uh, ich ni, you're ich ni if you're an English speaker. San, okay, san, shi, go, lok, shich, hach, ku, ju. So when you do suburi, empty cat, go ich ni san, shi, right? So that's how you count, memorize that. Okay, and Jewish 11. So in Japanese, it's very easy. So once you know 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 10, it's in Sanshi Goro Shashiku Ju. And Ju is 10, and Ich is 1, right? Ju Ich is 11. Ju Ni is 12. Ju San is 13. Ju Yon or Ju Shi is 14. Ju Go is 15. By the way, page 17. And Ju Lok 16, Ju Shich 17, or Ju Nana, Ju Hach 18, Ju Q is 19, and Ni Ju. Ni is 2, and Ju is 10, so 2 and 10 is 20. Ni Ju. And Ni Ju Ichi, Ni Ju Ni, same thing. Ni Ju Ichi, 21, right? So you count like that. And Ni Ju. Sanju, san, ju, thirty. Okay, yonju, uh, goju, rokuju, nanaju, hachiju, kuju, 
Q and 10, Q is 90, and 100, 100. Okay, this is a bit different. And 100 each. We start from there. And what, what is 111? 100 each. Pretty systematic, right? So I'm sure you don't have to count until 10. Uh, so you don't have to memorize that. Okay. Now, please remember, Onegai shimas arigato gozaimashita. Okay. And one, two, three. Ichi, ni, san, shi, go, rok, hitchash, kyu, ju. Ju, ichi, ju, ni. If you're necessary to memorize those, that's how you count. Okay. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. I would like to send special thanks to patrons for their constant support through patreons.com slash kindleforlife.